Hello everybody and welcome back to my learning space. I've been wanting to do this video for a super super long time and I thought I should do it today. Um, I've been checking out McCoy Tyner for a very long time and if you know me I really love his playing. In a lot of the solos that I've transcribed I've found things that repeated themselves. McCoy Tyner is super digital and sometimes you'll find lines that he did in another record on the same record the same way that he did it or a concept there are concepts in his playing that I have found to be recurring and I think on three of these licks today we will find these concepts and that's the idea of playing quote unquote outside of the changes um, and especially in his earlier records he did that by means of playing a half step above a chord that is to come so over a minor chord would play a half step above and over a dominant chord would play a half step above that in order to approach but I think it's his timing and the way in which he places the notes that makes it really special so I've compiled five licks that will definitely definitely add a vibe to your playing what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the line and then I'm going to show you where of which song it's coming from and then I'm going to show you how you can use the line in real time using the song Green Dolphin Street and I've also chosen the song There Will Never Be Another You so I hope you enjoy the video so the first line that I want to show you guys is a really dope line where again he uses this concept of playing a half step above this line comes from the live version of Impressions with John Coltrane and it goes something like this Now the way in which I like to use this line is you can pretty much use it anyway and I'm going to show you how I do it over. The second line assumes a similar or actually the same concept but he's doing it something different so in the case of a 2-5 in E flat you will play F sharp minor to B7 then F minor to B flat 7 and this line comes from Blues for Gwen from his album Inception <laughs> The third line comes from Satin Doll from his album A Night of Blues and Ballads and this one is a little different to the other ones. It is over a secondary dominant so where we go, where we have it goes here. So at this part, so he does. Tana made use a lot of these kind of minor patterns, as well as John Coltrane as well. Um, we all know that they work together, so, you know, I don't know, they 
were probably experimenting together. He kind of likes this idea of doing and this idea of moving from the 11th of a minor chord could do this on A minor but what he's doing here you know he, 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 he gets creative with his patterns so over a song like there will never be another you where we've got this f7 for two bars is a nice way to to use it or a nice place to use it fourth lick that I have prepared for you today is from McCoy Tanner's recording of what's this album song theme for Ernie it's originally a ballad but it does it super fast um, as it always does the album I'm trying the album Ganene. for the life of me I can't remember the album but I'm sure by the time I've edited this I will know what album the song is coming from so the line happens over a altered seven chord also it's a secondary chord so theme for Ernie is funny <laughs> goes the line is over the f7 this f7 that takes us to the two so it does and chord works really well when it when the chord five is going to the chord two so five of two essentially so if I have And the fifth and final line of the very special McCoy Tyner. I'm kind of sad to to be done with this video because I'm having so much fun. But anyway, number five is the same idea of going a half step before we get to a chord. It's also taken from um, the solo of Impressions, the live versions, the live version of uh, John Coltrane and his quartet. So this one was happening over when they were playing impressions impressions is obviously in the key of d minor and so when he goes to e flat minor so when he goes to e flat minor he does something along the lines of so this would, this would be d minor and then before he goes to e flat minor we'll do And this can work pretty well too for um, pedal pedal songs, especially like the song uh, Green Dolphin Street. So. Mm-hmm. 
uh, and so forth. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want the sheet music to these five lines written in all 12 keys, please look at my description box below um, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye!